Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing an electrical safety inspection or an EICR as it's known in um, the technical terms, electrical installation condition report um, at this property. Now the property is 19, built in 1970s so it's pretty much original wiring. We've got the old original fuse board there. Um, in terms of what I'm going to expect to find, so I always tell my customers that we're going to find something. The installation can be five years old, can be 40 years old. Um, the, the major downfall to most electrical installations is DIY jobs. Um, so, but I can't, I haven't really noticed much of that here. Um, it seems like it's a lot, a lot of orig original wiring. So. Hopefully we'll be okay. We've got earth in as light in because I came and fixed a fault um, a couple of days ago. Um, hopefully that's all connected and we should be all right. Um, my only concern is the kitchen's been refurbished very recently. We've got no certificates for that. Um, and I'm very sceptical about kitchen fitters electrical works, especially when there's no certificate being issued. So we will see. Hopefully it'll be all okay. But until we get a test kit out, and um, really start having a dig around, um, we really just won't know. So yeah. So I think we've got problem already. This is the old original rewirable fuse board, and the main earth is the not the main earth. Sorry, the so the bonding. This is the old original wire. This is the original rewirable fuse board uh, for the property. We have had various editions like this central heating. And we've got a couple of these new tight flicky switches, um, circuit breakers, which are great. Um, the cover is here somewhere, so but if you can actually get your fingers and touch those little live parts if the cover's not on, so you've got to be really careful. Um, that is a fail from us if that cover is missing. Um, but also, we've got the bonding cable there, so that's 10 mil, which is the right size. It's a good size. It's linked continuously through from your gas to your water. But then to the main, to the actual fuse board, it's linked by this tiny cable, which is no good. So that's going to have to be sorted. But that, in terms of a remedial works, is something minor. Um, not too concerned about that. So first circuit is a shower circuit. Um, one place I always check, shower switch. This one, not too bad. There's absolutely no signs of cables melting anywhere. We'll just give that a nip and that switch looks okay. A lot of time when it's pull cord switches, you usually find quite a few problems there. So I've tested the shower circuit now, continuity is okay. Usually shower circuits are absolutely fine. Um, I'm just going to do a mitten slash resistance. Now again, not much to go wrong with these circuits, so I'd expect a good result. Let's check it. And we're at 500. 600 mega ohm, which is a really good reading, what I'd expect. Um, so, poor reading is between well, less than one mega ohm, but really anything under two, it wants checking out. So, we are 575 mega ohm on that test. I think we'll be all right. Circuit's healthy. So, we're just going to do circuit two now, which is the sockets of the house. This is the only circuit there is in the house for the sockets. Major downfall to these circuits, usually there's a loose connection somewhere and the cables aren't connected. Basically they should go around in a big ring. Two cables go around in a ring. So you should have every socket should have pretty much two cables at each. Um, and then the fuse board, we've got the last two. So and I'm gonna check that, that those cables aren't become disconnected somewhere. Um and like I say, this is usually a downfall of the circuit, so we'll do a bit of a live one now and see what we're see what we're up against because I haven't actually tested this yet, but here we go, I'll try to do it one-handed. So we've got continuity there, 0.43. Now neutrals should be the same. So we'll check that. Because it's the same size cable. That's not good. 0.42 so that's that's it's there or thereabouts you know we're not miles away 
that's healthy, that's all good. Now earths, let's see. Four. That's probably not a bad reading for the size of the earth. <coughs> so that would tell me that all the cables are intact, there's no loose connections, which is really good. Now, it's not the only test we do. I've got, now I've got to make sure that it's wired correctly, um, and we'll do that. I'll, I think now I've done this, I can run round, whip a few sockets off, do his inspection. So we do check 35% ish of the accessories which means we take 35% off the wall have a look behind tighten things up that will give me a little idea of how things are wired but also gives me a chance to tighten things up a little bit um, once I've done that I'll screw everything back and then I will retest this I'm going to re retest this because sometimes you never know things do come back out when you push them back so that's really important that it's retested um, so retest it and then I will check that it's wired right um, by plugging into front of the sockets. So yeah, we'll do that. Right, so we're at socket inspection number one. Let's see what this is like behind here. I expect to see two cables at this one. Yes, there we go, so that's your ring circuit. This is an original socket, the property. I'm just gonna give that a tighten. Everything looks okay. Full of rubble a bit, but looks okay, that. So we'll go on to the next one. I'm sorry, I've screwed this back. So, so what I have found, just while I'm looking at this extract, something a little bit naughty. We've got connector box there, just on show, now I know that's that is for the under counter lighting so there'll be 230 volts there um, before I leave I'm just going to take them up for now um, and then it'll want re-terminating on the remedial works when we do the board change and save it a look same there a little bit naughty but fairly simple fix so I'm in the garage now um, I'm fairly sure this is on the socket circuit but I'm going to double check when when I'm doing this testing. Um, usually this is where a lot of installations fall down. Actually, this isn't bad. So we've got we've just got a cable coming in. You know, could do a bit of clipping, but nothing major. Not really much wrong here. I'm gonna look at this light. I haven't actually looked at it yet. No big goals. Happy days. And the looks of it, it looks okay. I'll check that, make sure that, that light's earthed. I'm sure it will be. I've just come to retest my um, end to ends as I've now disturbed the circuit um, and we've now got quite a substantially higher reading um, for the earth cable, for the earth, um, it was 1.04, now it's 2.25, now I did test this a couple of, well about 10-15 minutes ago thinking there's something not right here so I thought I'll run back round, just double check everything I've done which is a bit of a pain um, and I've tracked it back to the kitchen now Everything looks okay, um, with no problems, but the one socket, as I was screwing it back, the earth readings were jumping up and down. Now, everything terminated fine in the socket, but when you pull one of the cables in the walls, my reading goes from 1.8 to 5 to 2. So there's a loose connection somewhere behind kitchen units. I think we can get to it, but that'll be a job for remedials and repairs later. We've still got a connection, um, it is on the earth, now everything else will be earthed, it just gives everything I read it and it's all going to have to be retested when we're done. So, we're getting on now, a uh, bit of an issue with those sockets, um, so done the dead test, can't really prove anything until that fault's fixed, um, so I, I don't believe it is a ring circuit, I don't believe those cables go all the way around um, after testing, but until we fix that fault, I can't really prove it properly, so checked insulation of the cables that seems okay we're at 23 mega ohm there which is good for an old one and for what's on it with garage and things like that so um, i'm now going to move on to the next circuit which looks like probably cooker now that's had a haircut someone's cut some cables off there to fit that in there um i think this is probably immersion and this is probably the old cooker supply 
that's now been added to a socket so we're gonna find out and, and uh, get some more testing done so there's our continuity for So there we go, we've got good reading there for the cooker circuit. That's us just to check that the earth is continuous there. So that must have been modified from the existing cooker supply. And it now they now plug into the single oven and the hob, which is a gas hob, so that's absolutely fine. Check them plugs. Not that one. And this bit of insulate bit of uh, single insulated cables there, so that probably wants re-terminating. So we're on lighting circuit. Um, I'm going to test this pendant, it's a little bit stuck with paint. I'm going to give it a tap and check we've got an earth. I'm hoping we do. Um, everything else has been okay, now it's broken, that's not what you want. There's not much you can do there. And now we've tapped that, just, just come down like that, there we go. And we've got a connected earth, which is a bonus. Now. This is the only way you know it's actually earthed by giving it a quick test. So I'm going to put, I've turned the light switch on, I'm going to put these cables, I'm going to struggle because I'm doing it one handed, um, and put these cables together on live and earth. And we've got a reading as I thought. So things are okay. It's twin and earth, so it does last a long time. Um, I think a lot of people would have probably written this. Um, installation off and said look you need a full rewire but the long but the crux of it is is that you just never know until you get your test kit out and you actually start testing the house might be fine the installation might be fine you get a new board and stuff like that make it nice and safe I'm not really gonna have problems i've done loads and loads of these where it's been all wiring, we've swapped the fuse board after any ICI and remedials works have been finished and we don't get any callbacks um, with our CDs tripping um, so so yeah it just goes to show you can't always write an installation off because it's old and we're going to crack on I've jinxed it now because I haven't finished testing this circuit but I am fairly certain that it's been done to quite a good standard and um, we'll just move on to the next so another common problem on older lighting circuits is a shared connection between upstairs and downstairs which is shared neutral um, usually I, I do test for this by disconnecting all neutrals um, but this time unfortunately i think it's something else so we're now less than one ago so that's going to have to be looked at circuit broken down find that fault one last issue i found now so Looks okay, we've got a light fit in here, it doesn't need an earth. So it's just, that, that's two squares, means no earth. Okay, that's fine. So there's no earth connected, but the main, the main issue with this is the fact that it's not been terminated correctly. So, you've got singles, insulated cables, inside this metal casing. Now, if, if that grey bit, if that grey bit went into that box and this shut, safe. But it's not really safe now, so that one's re-terminating. These little things and these horrible little junction boxes that manufacturers supply. Unfortunately, you have to use them in most cases when it is metal things like this. Um, it's annoying, things like that. So that's single insert cables, but that should be reinforced. Um, and yeah, so this will have to be re-terminated, unfortunately. So I absolutely cocked up. I didn't do basically like a closing video, so um, I'm now couple of days on um, and I just want to quickly go over sort of what um, the fines were on the CICR um, and I know that I didn't mention this but the whole point of the CICR was so that we can get that board changed um, so we did the EICR, EICR make sure everything's safe um, for continued use and then swap the board Obviously there isn't things safe and it's a usual case um, for older installs like that. We, are, we do find things. Um, I would never ever tell my customer that we're not going to find out because we always do. Um, so yeah, um, obviously we've got no RCD protection for a socket circuits. 
no supplementary bonding in so we're looking at rcd protection for the lighting circuit in the shower um a couple of circuits that circuit had a haircut for the um cooker so that one's sorting we'll probably end up doing uh new meter tails and things like that um have a quick look at this main things are the faults faults on the socket circuit we've got fault on lighting circuit um, to fix, so they'll be on hourly rate, um, and a few connector blocks to add. Um, I think there'll be about uh, junction boxes. I think there'll be about a day's work in remedials, um, and then another day swapping board, um, and just doing a quick retest on everything. So yes, I hope you like the video and. Um, let us know in the comments what you think. If you think I'm dodgy, <laughs> by all means, give us a comment. Um, and I'll see you on the remedials video. Um, hopefully, I'll get that done anyway. So, thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you in a bit. Cheers.